All right, welcome to my Warstrike Lexa skin review. So this is the third and final style that we can unlock for Miss Lexa here. And this by far is probably my favorite one. So of course, to unlock this, you have to do a certain number of epic quests. Once you reach that number, you get the skin itself, the back bling, which is called the Warstrike interface, a pickaxe, which are called the Warstrike null claws, even the glider, which is the Warstrike hyperboard. All right, so let's take a look at the skin first. So this is the darkest shade of color we have for Lexa. It's called Warstrike, as I mentioned. She has a black shirt on, red shorts, and she's got a little bit of orange in there as well. Look at the orange on her shoulders and then on her arms and then even some on her boots. So orange, if you didn't know, is my favorite color. So I absolutely love this. Now, how does it compare to the other two styles? Well, this was the Infiltrator Lexa. You can see that this one was more of a brightish color scheme. And then the default one is kind of bland. It's got the white shirt, the maroon shorts, and then a little bit of gray on her boots. Now I should note that the headband actually changes to orange and black as well. And her fists and forearms also turn black and a little bit of orange too. So a lot of darker colors on this one. I really, really enjoy that. Same thing for the back bling. This one turns into that orange color, black, and red. There's a little bit of blue teal just underneath those wings or whatever those are. Here's how it compares to the other one. This was the infiltration interface. This one again is a more brighter color scheme. And then the default one is pretty bland as well. It's got an orangish red and then a gray color. So this is the darkest one we have yet. Again, it matches perfectly to the style that we just unlocked. So I already love the pickaxes to begin with, but the war strike ones are definitely my favorite. They are bright blood red, a little bit of blue, and then some orange. Now the second style we unlocked, the Infiltrator ones, these were bright pink and then a light blue. So these were very, very bright colors. The default ones here are more of a gray and reddish orange color. So once again, the new style here is the darkest theme. It does kind of match her shorts pretty well. Here's what it looks like when you swing. So for some reason we have a blue contrail. I'm gonna have to check that out in game and see if it really is blue. I would have thought it would be red. Now I can't remember what these other two were. Let's take a look. So the secondary style is the same color. Are they all blue? I can't really remember. Let's see. Here's the default ones. No, so these are pink. So I don't know why the contrail does not change for this third style. Now the hyperboard is one of my favorite gliders in the game because it reminds me of the hoverboard from Back to the Future 2. And as you can see, this new style is orange, red, gray, and black. But on the back, there's a little bit of that teal. I wonder if that's going to be the contrail because those are basically the engines Here's what the secondary style looked like. It again had that teal color on the back, but it's pink and gray and black. And the default one is more of a grayish red. There's the red on the back. So I like the contrail on the default one. I'm gonna have to see if this one is teal. If it is, that's gonna be a little weird. It should have been orange or red in my opinion. Now her contrail here is a reddish color. And as we see on the shorts and some on the back bling, there is red in this style, so that's good. Unfortunately though, the wrap is completely off color for this style. It's pink and gray and black, and there's not really any of the color schemes from this one. Now, most importantly, her Hunter Protocol built-in emote changes. Check this out. This is my favorite one out of all the styles. Look at this color scheme. You've got the dark blood red, the light orange on the top, the light orange in the midsection and on the shoulders, and then some black and more orange down by the boots as well. I really, really enjoy this. It looks phenomenal with the back bling as well. So just in case you missed the secondary style, let me transform her. This one wasn't bad either. I really like that pink and green color scheme. Pretty sweet. And then here's the default one. This is the one probably everyone has seen or have seen the most. And this one's just a bit bland. Now the eyes are red in this one. The secondary style, they were blue. Let's see what they were in the third style. I didn't really even notice. Are they red still? We're gonna take one more look at this. No, they remain blue. All right, so let's check her out in game and see how well she flows. All right, so here we go, the hoverboard first. Here's the deploy sound. Just like her prior styles, this is, again, one of my favorites in the game. I love the kickflip she does. Pow, nailed it. Unfortunately, like I thought, the contrail is a weird color. There's hardly any of that color on the hoverboard. Boy, I'm going right through a cloud here. I can't see nothing but the contrail is clearly that lime teal green color. I was really hoping for orange. That's all right though. The animation is still top notch as you can see right there. Perfect. Here's the underside. The underside looks cool. Look at that color scheme. And of course the contrail still goes with her that 
bright blood red. Perfect match for this style. Get out of here. Got to try to kill me when I'm going to my spot. Are you kidding me? All right, so let's check out the pickaxes first. Here's the pullout noise. I do love the animation for this. They just sprout out and then fully extend. I love it. Here's the contrail. Again, as we saw in the locker, it is that teal color. Still a little confused by that. Let's see if there's a splash effect. Yeah, so there's a tealish splash effect as well, as you can see. They love the teal color. Now, as expected, the wrap does not flow well with this skin. Look at the color differential there. That pink and black doesn't really mesh well. And even when it turns this all black color, it still doesn't even match the shirt color. The shirt is almost like a brown color. I thought it was black, but it's not. Here's what she looks like when you spin her around. Not too bad. Now let's do the hunter protocol emote. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. The pickaxes really mesh well with this. Let's spin her around with this one. She definitely has those bright blue eyes. Very, very nice. I just love this color scheme. I thought the secondary color scheme was great, but this one tops it tremendously. So one very strange thing about this skin that I noticed, in certain light situations, she gets this pale, dusky appearance, as you can see here. Very, very pale. And it's not always, again, it's only in certain light situations. But anyway, here comes the darkness. We're about to check her out in full nighttime mode. There you go. Look how vibrant the colors are. I really, really love that. Check that out. That's amazing. So if this looks good, then the Hunter Protocol is going to look incredible. Look at that. I love skins at night. They're just so vibrant in their color schemes. Isn't that amazing? Perfect color scheme. Even the eyes light up a more pristine blue color. It's a tough call between the secondary style and this one for my favorite. The only drawback about this one, as I mentioned, is the wrap not matching. Whereas with the secondary style, it kind of still did match. But orange is in this one, and orange is my favorite, so I don't know. So there you go. That's all there is to it for Miss Lexa here. Probably my favorite skin style, as I mentioned. Although all three of them are real nice. I really enjoy this entire character. She's a great skin to have, a great Battle Pass skin. And the fact that she has three different awesome styles is incredible. So let me know in the comments which one do you like best. Is it Lexa? Is it Infiltrator Lexa or is it the brand new Warstrike Lexa? I think they all have their individual perks and they all truly look phenomenal as the built-in emote Hunter Protocol. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.